Formula 1 heads to Imola this weekend for the second race of the season, with the battle between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen dominating the headlines last time around in Bahrain. It was Verstappen and his Red Bull that topped every session going into the race, but after 56 laps of Grand Prix racing around the Bahrain International Circuit, it was 7-time world champion Lewis Hamilton who took the checker flag for the 96th time in his career. Verstappen and Hamilton's Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas crossed the line in second and third, while Lando Norris took his McLaren to P4, with Sergio Perez on debut for Red Bull, ending the race in fifth after having to start from the pit lane. But that was Bahrain, and our attention now turns to Imola, so here's everything you need to know about the 2021 Melia Romagna Grand Prix. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Smith, here with Apex Motorsport for your preview of the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. But before we start, if you do enjoy our videos, then if you hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos here on the Apex Motorsport. So let's start with the circuit itself, and with the track being just over 3 miles, it will be a challenge to the drivers over the 63 laps of Grand Prix racing. Turn 1 is flat out, with drivers hoping to activate DRS if they're less than a second behind the car in front on the approach to the first real braking zone of the circuit. Variante Tamburello, or the Turn 2, 3 and 4 complex, is a challenging corner, with drivers having to brake hard and sweep left, then right, then left again, while keeping their foot in the throttle. Any mistakes here, and it's a trip to the gravel trap ahead. Variante Villeneuve makes up turns 5 and 6, and with the first left hand bend being flat out before the driver slamming their brakes for the next right hand corner, and all the gravel traps awaits for anyone who makes a mistake. Turn 7 at Toza is an iconic left hairpin, and depending on how the car is set up, a lot of time can be gained here, but also lost. It is a very good overtaking opportunity for anyone who is brave enough to make a move. Piratella is turn 8 and on the approach drivers speed up the hill with a few of the corner coming into sight and this can be done flat out during qualifying but only if you're brave. Turns 9 and 10, Aqua Minerale is another corner where drivers have to be in the top of their game as you can go flat out for the right hand corner 9 before slamming the brakes for turn 10. This is another corner which is surrounded by gravel. Variante Alta is at turns 11, 12 and 13 and is a tight technical right to left chicane where drivers will carry incredibly high speeds through this. Turn 13 isn't a traditional corner, and there's nothing more than a slight bend where drivers position the cars for Ravazzi. This is turns 14 and 15, and is a tight chicane, much slower than the previous two, where drivers move the car from left to right, trying to take as much curb as they dare to straight line the chicane. Turn 16 is flat out for a slight bend, but the braking zone for 17 is tricky, as drivers are going to be going downhill into the fast corner. It is a good overtaking spot as drivers frequently lock up the front of the car, while turn 18 is effectively the final corner of the circuit and drivers have to maximise their speed for the start finish straight. While turn 19 is an official corner, it is now a slight bend which drivers can easily take flat out as they complete the lap of Imola. The fastest lap set in an F1 car on the current layout was set last season on F1's first event of the circuit since 2006. Lewis Hamilton set a time of a 1 minute 15.484 in the race, whilst Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas holds the fastest qualifying lap with a 1 minute 13.609. One driver who didn't get to take part in F1's return last season, but will get a chance in this year's race, is Alpine's Fernando Alonso, who holds the fastest time in the old layout in his championship winning Renault of 2006, with a time of 1 minute 24.569. Michael Schumacher leads the way for most wins of the circuit, winning the San Marino Grand Prix on seven occasions, while Ayrton Senna, who sadly lost his life at the circuit in 1984, won here three times, with Alan Prost taking the checker flag on a three occasions as well. All the repeat winners include Nigel Mansell and Damon Hill with two wins each, while Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso are the only drivers in the grid this weekend that can join the list of repeat winners after Hamilton's success last year and Alonso's win in 2005. In the UK, live coverage will be shown on Sky Sports F1 with highlights of qualifying in the race on Channel 4. Due to the funeral taking place of the Duke of Edinburgh, the schedule has been changed with Friday sessions being moved forward half an hour and Saturday sessions moved forward one hour. This means that in the UK, practice gets underway at 10am with the second practice session starting at 1.30pm. Saturday's practice session gets underway at 10am with qualifying now taking place at 1pm. The Grand Prix will begin as originally scheduled at 2pm UK time on Sunday. 
Lewis Hamilton is the Drivers' Championship leader going into the race after taking victory last time out when Mercedes topped the constructor standings after opening the race of the season. As the season is only one race old, there is a chance that both championships could be changed leaders this weekend, with Max Verstappen and Red Bull expected to take the challenge to the Silver Arrows in Imola. It is going to be an interesting race, especially when teams now have something to compare after racing here last year. For the drivers who move to new teams this season, it might be a struggle early on to understand how different car works around the track, and for the drivers making their debut, it might be difficult to settle on the track that they might not have raced on before. But well, who do you think will take victory around Imola? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you want to keep up to date with all the updates from the Imola Grand Prix and beyond, make sure you follow us on all social media that are linked in the description below. So I hope you all enjoy this weekend's race in Imola, and we hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.